Okie dokie. Second example for this problem, I will try to work it out a bit faster. If you'd like more of a breakdown, please visit the first example video I've worked out. So in this one, they say use sample two to solve for k. So starting with sample two's values, we are plugging them into the equation given. So we have 9.6 is a times b times q. So all divided by 10 so we're going to calculate 3 times 16 over 10 and so that should give us 3 times 16 is 48 then divide by 10 should give us 4.8 so we have 9.6 is equal to 4.8 K we divide by 4.8 and we solve for K that should be 2 I believe so we have two on the dot. That's a good sign that it is an integer. Now using this K value, we're going to plug in values from sample one and sample three separately and see if they create consistent equations. So uh, using sample one's values, we have 28 is A. Now we're plugging everything uh, back into this original equation, but with sample one's values. So K is two, B times Q, is 14 times 20 dividing by l is dividing by 20 as well a, a different 20 so then let's calculate this well 20s would cancel that's nice and then 28 on the left side should be equal to 2 times 14 because 2 times 14 is 28 so that checks out so that means sample 1 fits the model which means only sample 3 fits the model options or neither sample 1 nor sample three fit the model. Um, options are off the table, so it's either A or C. Let's check sample three using the same method, and let's see what happens. This is glitching out. Here we go. All right. So sample three's values: we have 44 equals k, which is two, times b times q, which is 14 times 11, all divided by l, which is seven. Let's see if we can simplify this. 14 divided by 7 is 2. So just to simplify and try to write a less squiggly version here, we have 2 on the outside, another 2 that we just found on the inside, times 11. All right, 2 times 2 is 4, times 11 is 44. So 44 is all the way down. It appears that 44 is equal to 44. So this means that sample three is also consistent or sample three fits the model. So both sample one and two, uh, three fit the model. Break out the eraser and we see that C is our answer.